I want to know more about the little prince. I want to know where he lives. The little prince asks me many questions. I also ask him questions. But he doesn't answer my questions. But when he speaks, I slowly start to understand many things. For example, when he looks at my plane, he asks, What is this thing? I answer, It is a plane. It can fly. It is my plane. And I am happy when I tell him that I can fly. Then he says, What? Are you from the sky? Yes, I say. It is funny. And the little prince starts to laugh. I am angry. My situation is not good. How can somebody think that it is funny? Then he says, So you also come from the sky like me. What is your planet? At this moment, I start to understand more about him. I ask, Do you come from another planet? But he doesn't answer. He looks at my plane again. Then he says, On this thing, you can't come from very far. And he starts to think. Then he takes the picture with his sheep. And he looks at his sheep, but I want to know more. So I ask again, Where is your planet? Where do you want to take your sheep? He is quiet. Then he says, The box is a good thing. At night, I can use the box as a house for the sheep. Yes, and I can also give you a rope. Then you can tie the sheep during the day. But the little prince is shocked when I say this. Tie the sheep? It is a funny idea. But if you don't tie the sheep, the sheep can run away. You can lose the sheep. The little prince starts to laugh again. But where can the sheep go? It can go to many places. It can go left. It can go right. The little prince says, The sheep can go away on my planet. It is okay. Where I live, Everything is so small. He is a little sad. Then, he says, Where I live, nobody can go very far. Now I know a second important thing. The planet of the little prince is very small. It is like a house. But it isn't really a big surprise. I know that we don't have only big planets like Earth, Mars, or Jupiter. We have also hundreds of other planets. These planets are sometimes very small. If you want to see these planets, you need a very good telescope. When an astronomer discovers such a planet, he doesn't give the planet a name. He gives the planet only a number. The name of the planet is, for example, Asteroid 3251. 